Hi, I'm Christine Cushing and welcome to another helping of my favorite foods. Today, I'm taking you somewhere sweet for a recipe that I think everybody should be able to make. This is my take on a New York style cheesecake. Get ready for creamy, silky, ultimate cheesecake like you've never had it before. Let's get going. So there's two parts to this recipe, the crust and the cheesecake. For me, the base of it, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going with chocolate. So it's just a basic uh, chocolate cookie that I buy and turn it into crumbs. You can also buy crumbs. It's not super sweet. That's my hallmark. Cheesecake goes back a long way for me. And why did I want to make this video for you is that Recently, like literally two weeks ago, somebody stopped me in the grocery store and said, I make your cheesecake recipe all the time. It's phenomenal. So I said, hmm, I've made so many recipes over the years, but this one I really wanted to share with you. You can also use the more classic Graham cracker crumbs. I simply mix it with melted butter, transfer to my springform pan that's already been lined with parchment, and I press down with my palette knife until it's firm. And I actually chill it instead of baking it. Chilling until I make the filling. All right, now I'm gonna get going on the filling. So this is gonna take two packs of cream cheese and I've got my paddle on and we're gonna whip it really, really good. Whip it. Now this has to be warm. You want this at room temperature. You don't wanna whip cold cream cheese. So what's so special about my cheesecake? We're going to talk all about that while I separate some eggs. Remember I said we're going to paddle and whip. We got the paddle, then we're going to go in with the whip for the egg whites. This is already difference number one. I separate my eggs so it creates this really light airy texture. For me, the idea of a cheesecake, generally New York style, is super dense. I mean, it's a doorstop for me. It's just too, too rich, too, too thick, too dense. Here, you're gonna get this beautiful, silky mouthfeel and a lightness. Now, okay, it's lightness in the sense that it's airy. It is still cream cheese, so it's gonna be rich, no question. At this point, it's important to get this cream cheese really smooth before I add anything else. So I'll tell you why. Sugar is gonna go in. Oh, look at that. That is silky smooth. Check that out. It's perfect at this point. Now the egg yolks are going in. One of the other things that I find off-putting about many people's cheesecake is how sweet it is. So for me, it's the perfect balance of sugar because usually we have some kind of topping as well. So the bottom is sweet, the middle is sweet, the top is sweet, too sweet. I'm gonna add a little lemon zest because I love lemon. And I'm also going in with a bit of sour cream. So I'm just gonna put the lemon zest in the sour cream and do one more addition. Along with that lemon zest sour cream, there's gonna be just about a tablespoon or so of lemon juice. Again, keeping the balance. Already cream cheese has a bit of a, a kind of a tang to it. So I'm just heightening that up because really you wanna enhance the flavor. What lemon does is it wakes everybody else up. It's like you, 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 report to work now. Here I'm gonna add all those sour things right in. The last thing that's gonna go in here before the egg whites is just a little bit of corn starch. So here's the challenge with the cheesecake. This is the quintessential challenge. It will, you'll go into the oven, it'll cook, it'll rise, but there's nothing holding it up. It's like, mm, what's gonna hold me up? I've got no gluten, I've got no flour in here. So this little bit of cornstarch is really acting as a binder. It's not gonna hold it up, and even if you added flour, it still wouldn't do that. So this is the challenge. We're essentially making a custard. 
So I'm gonna show you how I remedy that. Cornstarch going in. Okay, that looks great, all blended smooth. Now, I happen to be fortunate enough that I have a separate bowl for my stand mixer, but if you don't, you can just do this in a hand beater, it's not a problem. You just need to whip some egg whites at this point. My cream cheese mixture, my egg whites. So here I have nothing else to mix in with these egg whites. It's not a classic meringue where you're really trying to mount up the air and then add sugar to it. It's just getting them to hold light peaks. Now my egg whites are gonna go into my cheese mixture. The key here with this folding is you wanna get right underneath the bowl and kind of turn it and go over. It's a fast motion, but delicate at the same time. Here it's not like, again, I'm making meringues. I don't want these to be super, super high. Otherwise, again, it's gonna puff and then collapse. We don't want that. We're just adding a little airiness and some lightness to the texture. That's what I'm after here. Okay, so the crust has chilled. After all of that, I'm going with the graham cracker. You can always do the chocolate, easy peasy, whichever one you wanna do. Now, we're all ready to bake this, but here's where it can get a bit challenging. So there's a few precautions that are gonna help you out. Parchment paper. So already my pan is nonstick, but I'm taking an extra precaution and I'm gonna brush a little bit of butter around the edges and then line it with these sheets of parchment paper because that's where it's gonna come out super clean when you, you, know, you take it out of the spring form pan. So now these guys are gonna go in just to fit snugly all the way around. Parchment paper, good. Next step, and this is where the cheesecake can get a bit crazy challenging. So essentially we're making a custard here. This is not a classic cake. There's nothing really to hold it up. So how do you remedy that? All my life that I've been making cheesecakes, I've pretty much just baked them, but then they kind of sink a little bit. I don't mind that. You give up something, you get something else. But here to keep that nice kind of flat, as flat as the top can be, it's about cooking it in a water bath. But these little spring form pans can tend to leak because they've got the little valve, like the little opening there. So we want to take a little more precaution, wrap it in foil snugly so no water gets in while baking. So cheesecake technical 101, essentially we're making a custard here. So what I'm gonna do is cook it in a water bath. So I want my oven on in a still temperature. It's gonna be at 300, that's a Fahrenheit setting. I'm gonna put this guy in here. And then at this point, we gotta be really quiet and have some deep breaths and it's all gonna be good. It can be challenging. In my life making pastries, and I've made so many cheesecakes, still, for me, things happen. It splits. It's this, you think, what the heck is going on? It's really temperamental. And what this water does is it actually insulates this custard, so it never gets beyond a certain temperature. Boiling water is basically 212, so that water around it, it kind of cuddles it, and it keeps it at that certain very low temperature, so it cooks really evenly and slowly. The cheesecake is baked when the cake is set, but in the center it's still a little bit jiggly when you shake the pan. I let it cool in the oven for 30 minutes, then I remove it and cool to room temperature before chilling in the fridge overnight. <laughs> overnight, 
That's the key, eight hours minimum. If you're impatient like me, you don't want to start messing with it because it needs that time to set. Okay, let me show you why did we go through all that rigmarole. I'm going to unfasten it now, very delicately. And then just tear off the paper. You see those beautiful clean sides? That's what the parchment paper does. Now I want to lift it off here to present it. So it's really important to put the knife in super hot water before every slice because this is very delicate, this cheesecake. Okay, you are gonna love this. This is what I'm talking about. So this is my take on the New York style cheesecake. It has the hallmark sour cream and cream cheese in it, but the texture is super light and delicate and tender. And that's why I also baked it in that water bath. Oh, it's really great. Now I also took the liberty, this one is about the plain cheesecake, of making this beautiful little sour cherry and Bing cherry compote. Because I don't know, something about a cherry cheesecake is amazing. But you can put whatever you like, raspberries, blueberries, anything you like. Don't worry, this is going to be part of the recipe. Now enough of the blabbing, it's time to taste. Ooh. light as a cloud. That is ridiculous. Look at the texture of it. So amazing. Oh, this is why you want to make this cheesecake. Light, fluffy, texture amazing, flavor great, not too sweet. Cherries are phenomenal. Thank you for joining me on another helping of my favorite foods with my cheesecake New York style, my way. Please subscribe and share all your thoughts with me. Let's grow this channel together. Until next time, who wants some cheesecake? Look at those cherries.